Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rose Bertram. For the people who don't know me, for the people who know me, you obviously know that I just announced that I'm pregnant on Instagram and I'm super, super excited. I hope I can answer all of your questions in this video. I'm going to be talking about my 16 week pregnancy, what I've been through, what I've felt, my eating habits and just answer most of the questions that I think are relevant and that can hopefully help out mommies to be. Stay tuned! I'm going to scroll down and go to the first comment on my Instagram page. I know the gender. I found out um, approximately 10 weeks uh, when I was pregnant. I did a test. It's called the NIP test and it shows you uh, whether your child is going to be healthy or not. It, it shows 99% of the gender. So I was obviously really, really happy about what it was. So I wanna give you guys more details about the NIP test. It's obviously your own choice if you want to do it or not, or if you wanna find out the gender of your baby. I'm going to tell you guys because I still want to keep it a secret because I think that announcing the pregnancy is already such a big thing to announce it on social media and especially with such a big following it's kind of scary to tell all these people that you're pregnant and I'm going to keep the gender private hopefully uh, <laughs> it's going to work because I have a very hard time at keeping secrets, so I am going to the next question. I have personally found a name that I really like, but uh, my partner doesn't know any names yet, so I guess we'll have to wait until kind of the end. Some people say that it's good to wait until you see the baby, and then you know, like, all right, this is the name that I want to give to him or her. So yeah, I think we're just going to collect names that we like and then maybe wait till the end and then find out what kind of name works best for our baby. I kind of think he was shocked. Um, just because we didn't think it would happen so quick and the way I said it was unexpected We're on vacation and I had felt something I was like okay this is not right I don't feel right I was tired and I took a nap the day before um, for like two hours I got a headache and I was getting stomach cramps and obviously I had to get my period during that week. Usually when you get stomach cramps, you know, okay, I'm going to have my period by the end of the night or tomorrow. But for the whole night, I literally stood up like every two hours I had to go to the restroom to pee. And the next day I woke up and I was like, okay, something is not right. I still don't have my period. I looked it up online and I checked and I was like checking the symptoms of being pregnant and it said obviously that you had to pee a lot as well and I was like oh my god okay here it is so I went to uh, the lobby of the hotel uh, when we were having breakfast and I told him I was going to go pee um, and I asked the hotel to get me a pregnancy test and by uh, noon they came to the room they gave me the pregnancy test i went to the restroom i didn't told him about it so here i am sitting in the restroom doing the test obviously after a couple of seconds it said pregnant and i was like oh my god like i it was i was just shocked i was like just shocked i didn't know like i i was like oh my god i'm going to be a mom in nine months like every question was going through my mind. I sat on the toilet for like 
15, 20 minutes, I texted um, one of my best friends that is pregnant as well, texted a picture of like the pregnancy test, and she was like, congratulations, you're pregnant. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, it was such a weird feeling. It was just like mixed feelings, like being shocked, but also really happy at the same time. Thought about like an idea of uh, telling him but like in a in a nice and happy way you know because it's like something amazing to share with your partner so what I did is um, I took the pregnancy test I took a paper I wrote down you're going to be a daddy and I put it in an envelope and I called him uh, over to the room and I was like I need to tell you something but I already looked like kind of you know just shocked I gave him the envelope and he opened it and it said you're going to be a daddy with the pregnancy test. And he looked at me and he was like crying and hugged each other and realized we were going to be mommy and daddy. <laughs> I have been taking birth control for seven years, which is a lot. And I know that birth control is really bad for you. I mean, the hormones, what I've heard and stuff like that. And I wanted to quit uh, birth control, so I obviously told him, like, I want to stop taking birth control, it's really bad for you, and, um, I mean, we know the risks of stopping to take birth control, but the idea of being a mom and being pregnant wasn't bad, it was actually like, okay, I'm ready for it, um, if it if it's if it happens it happens you know but usually they say that it takes a while before you get pregnant one of my best friends is pregnant too and for her it took like seven to eight months to get pregnant so I was obviously calculating okay I'm stopping birth control now by the end of the year maybe I'll be pregnant and then we'll see you know it was something far away from my head and you know we were obviously being really careful Next thing you know, um, two months after stopping birth control, maybe two to three months, um, I found out I was pregnant. So it depends on the person. You can never know when you can get pregnant, how easy it is to get pregnant. So it's really up to the person itself. And obviously it was really fast for me. So I'm happy. So that's what matters. My early symptoms were um, being very emotional, like I would watch a movie or see a person cry that I don't even know and I would just start crying, like I'm super emotional. My early symptoms were also being really, really sick, waking up every day. Um, people have morning sickness and then they eat something and it goes away, but with me it was literally the whole day. I couldn't eat like I didn't really have any like taste buds like when I was eating something it was just grossing me out like I got really really skinny I even passed out twice in public and yeah it was really really difficult for me like at least for two months I really really felt sick I didn't really throw up the only time I threw up was when I passed out in public um, I was really feeling bad and I felt like I needed sugar and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pass out, I'm gonna pass out. I took some Coca-Cola and I had some and then all of a sudden I was just gone. So then when I woke up, I was like throwing up and then that was like the last period. It was still in my first trimester, going to my second trimester. So after a week, two weeks after that, I was starting to feel better. So I usually never eat pork uh, and in the beginning of my pregnancy I was craving prosciutto, it's a kind of an Italian ham, smoked ham. Um, be aware that you cannot eat raw stuff when you're pregnant. So the smoked ham I guess it's still fine because it's smoked and it has been processed and stuff but I never eat pork and I was craving the saltiness of the ham, you know. Beginning I was like I, I still was like 
going through this whole pregnancy thing so I didn't know what it was that I was feeling like I was watching a series and I was craving something and I just didn't know because obviously I don't eat it so how can I know if I want it or not so I'm like watching um, these series and they were eating mac and cheese and like back in my home country they make macaroni and cheese with ham and I was like oh my god I want macaroni and cheese with ham so my niece is in the house and I'm like feeling sick I'm like okay I'm so hungry I want macaroni cheese and ham so she went to the grocery store she got me macaroni and cheese and ham and when I ate it it was like uh, like a satisfaction it was crazy so then I started understanding that your body is asking for stuff that you don't even know that you want to eat or would eat and yeah I feel like all the things that I want or crave are things that I used to eat when I was a child like when I was younger so I don't know maybe the mommy symptoms and having a baby girl inside of me remind me of my childhood in some type of way so it's really weird every week I have something different like last week I was eating Nutella with toast every day like I wanted Nutella and then uh, this week as a snack I was eating Twix all the time how many children do I want to have? <laughs> I already have one inside so I need to wait a little bit before I, I get to experience being a mommy obviously and and I do want to have like two or three kids. I just don't know if I want it immediately after having my first baby or if I want to wait for two, three years. So I'll figure it out. I was going to the gym almost uh, five times a week when I was not pregnant. When I got pregnant, I was really, really tired. Um, I needed to take a break for myself and for my body and to let my body rest so I think during this pregnancy three months um, I'm almost four months pregnant by the way I'm uh, 16 weeks so um, I have been to the gym maybe four or six times this week I'm going to go more to the gym and I feel better now I have more energy so I think it's really important to work out and I woke up today, I went to the gym yesterday and I feel really good today so it does something good to your body to go to the gym. I still work as a model, there's so many things that you can do during your pregnancy as a model. I mean I can still attend events which is also some kind of work. Um, I can also do maternity shoots. I already have a shoot that I'm going to do in December. A really, really, really cool one, so I can't wait. Now it's all about just, you know, giving your body time and rest. And if I can get to do really cool stuff during my pregnancy, I will do it. But if it's not worth it, I'd rather just stay home and enjoy and relax. I already know what it is and yes I'm already buying stuff for the baby which is really awesome and I can't say more <laughs> otherwise I'm going to tell you guys the secret I really hope that it's going to have my curly hair and um, the color of my eyes besides that um, daddy can give the rest he can also give his tattoos and no, I'm just kidding you really don't know how the baby is going to look like because my mom is mixed race I mean she's mixed with like African my mom is from Senegal Portugal Angola and my dad is Belgian so my grandmother she is a light skin with green eyes and then my mom's dad is like super dark he's from Senegal Dakar and I guess that's why I'm kind of light. He took the color of my grandmother and also the eyes. Um, and then Gregory is from the islands. He's from Curaçao and his mom is, is from Holland and his dad is from Curaçao. So it's really weird because we really don't know how the baby is going to look like. I mean, it could be that the baby is darker than us because my mom's side has Senegalese blood and African blood. 
And yeah, I mean, we might have, we have 30% chance of having a baby with um, light eyes. I mean, we have five more months to wait and we'll see how the baby is going to look like. But guys, by the way, if you have any ideas for names, please comment below because it's really, really hard to find names. You can send me boys' names or girls' names, it doesn't matter. I'm so excited because, I mean, it's just, it's something you can't explain. It's something you're sharing with your partner, the partner you love. You, <laughs> you, um, you have something of, of the both of you and it's like crazy because in five months I'll have a little munchkin to take care of that is going to be a mix between me and my partner and yeah thinking about it makes me really really happy it's not because you have a baby that you have to quit modeling look at all the supermodels that have babies they're raising their child perfectly there's always ways to be able to be there for your child and take some days for your work I mean when I travel I can choose how long I'm going to travel for so it's it's my decision and I think that mommies that work from from seven to five they're also away for a couple of hours every day so I'll be gone maybe for one or two days and then that's some that together it makes the same hours as a, a mommy that has a job that is from seven to five you know I have answered most of the questions most of the important questions I mean if there are any other questions that you want me to answer, I'll definitely make an updated video. Um, I'm only 16 weeks pregnant and I wanted to share the beginning of my pregnancy with you guys. So I'm definitely going to post more videos and don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Uh, shout out to all the mommies out there. I see you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my video and uh, comment below. Like I said, if you need anything, any questions, and what you think of the video. I love you guys. <laughs>